Hello, it's Karen from Courage on Kitchen Lavosh coming to you and Karen Lebsamp, Master Storyteller. I thought it was a great opportunity. Again, a little bit of rain outside, probably more than a little bit, somewhat significant rain outside. And in the Hawkesbury, we're sitting in flooded areas yet again. I'm currently displaced from home as I live across the other side of the river and uh, my workspace is on the Sydney side of the Hawkesbury River. I wanted to share with you what it looks like from 12 months ago, because 12 months ago, mm, a couple of weekends, uh, we unfortunately lost our home. And it was so unexpected. The rains had come for 48 hours pre-hand. It was massive rains. We didn't expect to lose our home. We are not... Uh, in flooded plains. We're not in a, a flat place along the river. We're actually on a mountain. And the rains had come for 48 hours and then as we realised our land had moved behind the home on the Monday morning and I was on the phone to the SES at the time and we were assessing what damage there was and as I turned around a massive crack appeared in our home literally there and then before my eyes and at which time I knew we were compromised and we had to get out. I really think about the people who are currently you know, going through immediate loss of home, what do you do? For us, it was about, it, it was about, you know, suddenly we're called upon to to evacuate what do you take what do you take we lived in a bushfire prone area and had always been prepared for bushfires the year before we were packed we had time we were ready and the the home survived miraculously unfortunately because at the last moment fortunately for us unfortunately for the Bilpin community because the winds changed and sent the flames shooting up to Bilpin instead of the mountain on which we live in the Hawkesbury. So we were blessed to be saved at that point. 12 months on after those bushfires, just over 12 months on, and the floods came and the water from the road ran off and cut through our land, got under our home, twisted and heaved and pushed and turned the slabs and basically cracked everything. The home is to be demolished, we lost our home. However, we were trying to salvage some bits and pieces. And the rain deluge that has happened over the last, it's almost seven days I'm sure at this point, has caused our home, actually it's not seven days, the rain deluge has actually happened since I think Thursday night was the massive start of it. I'm not too sure if that's right, but I know there's been rain for a lot of days has actually moved the home yet again, damaged more of the pieces that we were hoping to get out. I can't get back there at the moment. There's nobody there. I don't know what we're going back to. I don't know if the driveway is secure to drive in. I just don't know. I think what it's taught me, if I sit in reflection, is at the moment is the resilience that we can actually hold. I'm really proud of that from being in the Hawkesbury because I know the community came to our aid 12 months ago and I know this community is also pulling together. It's aware, it's aware of each other, it's aware of the communities within communities about how we can help. Resilience is built by being put into situations that you're faced continuously and you can actually build you up, makes you stronger, you can face it. Sure, you get knocked down, absolutely get knocked down. But you can actually come back out of it. So I just wanted to share with you that story that, you know, every time you face something, look for some good out of it. It's incredibly hard to look for the good at the time of the devastation, at the loss. But more importantly, draw on the people around you because they can actually help you. And that's what we have actually done. So the rain continues to fall in the Hawkesbury. I don't know if my home exists. As in, will the land be okay to rebuild on? I don't know. Um, 
but we're safe. We are continuing to work, we're continuing to help others in our community and and we will we will continue to get through. So really what I want to encourage you to do is just to say keep, keep going strong, keep your chin up and we are here for you if you need us also. We are here for you. It's always we can help others always there's always somebody out there who needs a little bit more help than what we do and that's what we're all here for i really look forward to sharing more with you as we go on keep your chin up stay strong we're going to get through this all together